Hello, I'm your friend, Teacher Sam, here to guide you on your English learning journey. Today we're diving into an essential question many learners grapple with. How long does it take to learn English before you can speak fluently? It's a common query, but the answer isn't as straightforward as you might think. Several factors can influence the speed of language acquisition. Consider, for instance, your dedication to learning. The more time and effort you invest, the quicker you'll grasp the language. Similarly, the amount of time spent on learning English directly impacts your progress. Learning a few hours a week will yield different results compared to daily study. And let's not forget the role of your native language. If it's closely related to English, you might find the journey a bit smoother. Understanding these factors can help set realistic expectations for your English learning journey. Several factors can influence how quickly you can learn English and become fluent. Let's delve into the three main ones individual learning style, the amount of time dedicated to learning, and the complexity of the English language. Firstly, the individual learning style. Everyone absorbs information differently. Some people are visual learners, preferring to learn through images, diagrams and videos. Others are auditory learners, who learn best through listening to lectures, podcasts or songs. Still others are kinesthetic learners, who learn by doing, by interacting with the language in real-world situations. Recognising your learning style can help you tailor your study methods and make your learning more efficient. Secondly, the amount of time dedicated to learning. It's a simple fact. The more time you invest in learning English, the faster you'll improve. Think about it like exercise. Just as you can't expect to run a marathon after one day of training, you can't expect to become fluent in English after a single study session. Consistency is key, and even just 15 minutes of practice a day can make a huge difference over time. Lastly, the complexity of the English language. English is a rich language with a vast vocabulary and a plethora of grammatical rules and exceptions. It's also influenced by many other languages, resulting in a variety of accents and dialects. This complexity can be a challenge, but it's also what makes English such a dynamic and expressive language. Understanding this complexity can help set realistic expectations for your learning journey. So, to wrap it all up, the speed at which you learn English can be influenced by your learning style, the time you dedicate to learning, and your understanding of the language's complexity. But remember, everyone's journey is different. There's no one-size-fits-all answer to how long it takes to become fluent. Recognising and working with these factors can help speed up your English learning process. Now let's delve into the timeframes for achieving English fluency. When it comes to mastering the English language, there's no one-size-fits-all timeline. However, various studies and data can give us a general idea of what to expect. If you're starting from scratch, it's important to keep in mind that achieving a basic level of conversational fluency can take anywhere from six months to a year. This is assuming you're putting in consistent effort every day for about an hour or two. This time frame allows you to grasp the basics, such as common phrases, basic sentence structure, and a vocabulary of about 1,000 words. Now, if you're aiming for a more advanced level of fluency, where you can comfortably hold a conversation on a wide range of topics, you're looking at a time frame of about two to three years of consistent study and practice. This includes not just learning new words and grammar rules, but also immersing yourself in the language through reading, writing, listening, and speaking in English as much as possible. For those with the ambition of achieving native-like fluency, the journey can take five years or more. This level of English proficiency requires a deep understanding of not just the language, but also the cultural nuances, idioms, and even slang. This is where the language becomes second nature, and you can think, dream, and even joke in English. However, these are just averages, and individual experiences can greatly vary. Factors such as your native language, previous language learning experience, and the amount of time you can dedicate to learning each day can significantly affect these time frames. The key takeaway here is that learning English, like any language, is a marathon, not a sprint. It requires patience, consistency, and a lot of practice. It's about immersing yourself in the language, making mistakes, and learning from them. Remember, everyone's journey to English fluency is unique, so don't be discouraged if your progress seems slower than others. Learning English, like any other language, is a journey that requires patience and consistency. It's a marathon, not a sprint, 
so don't be discouraged if progress seems slow at times. Remember, every word learned, every grammar rule understood, every sentence correctly pronounced, is a step closer to fluency. The benefits of learning English are vast, and they extend beyond the personal satisfaction of mastering a new language. By learning English, you're opening doors to increase job opportunities, and you're gaining the ability to communicate with people all over the world. It's a skill that broadens your horizons and empowers you to experience the world from a different perspective. So keep going. Stay patient, stay consistent, embrace the challenges and celebrate the small victories. And remember, every great English speaker started where you are now. Stay motivated, keep practicing, and you'll see your English skills improving day by day. I'm Teacher Sam, your friend in this journey, wishing you the best in your English learning journey.